So today we're going to be looking for legendary items inside of storage auctions here in Storage Hustle. And folks, stay tuned until the end because we're going to try to save up and buy one of the best vehicles in the game. So be sure to stay tuned, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. So folks, we're back once again in... Oh my goodness, that sounded so brutal. Uh, missed... Oh, he disappeared. So we're back in Storage Hustle, and today we're going to try to get to our level 10. That way we can start buying the big boy storage lots. So yeah, we're just going to waltz in here and uh, see what they got available. But I want to be buying like the ultra rare units. Then eventually we can maybe like buy a house and maybe buy a car or a different vehicle. Because this thing is a pile of poo. But here we go. Uh, we got one started at $810. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and oh my goodness, there's like nothing in here. I mean, there's a toilet back there that might be worth some money. You know what? We're going to go for it. Let's go and try the minimum bids here and uh, see if we can finally find some really rare items. So stay tuned until the end to see how well we do. Hit the thumbs up button for more of this game and let's win this auction. Okay, we're at 900 and si Oh, come on, Karen. Really? Okay, I'd like to keep this one below, like, I want to say 1300 because I don't know if all that stuff in there is worth a lot of money. It didn't look great. Uh, we're winning. Oh, yeah. no, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, come on, McLovin. All right, so we're up to almost $1,200. Maybe they'll let me have it now. You know, there's a quick buy option. Uh, that is a skill that maybe we can <laughs> unlock here in the future. Uh, that way we could just buy it out from under everybody. Okay, here we go. And boom. We have won it. Look, we're level eight. We are two levels away from getting the next storage facility unlocked. Hold on, let's check out what we got. Oh, here we go. Is this a big mouth bass? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm pretty sure my audience is too old to realize what this is. Well, I mean, it kind of looks like a bass. It's upside down. Wait, can I actually click the button? There's, this is a singing fish. Uh, editor, please find me a picture and or video of these things. Uh, these were in Walmart. I always wanted one of these as a kid. I will survive. Hey, hey. Oh my goodness, wait, can I scan this one? How much is this worth? 300 bucks. Oh no, wait, what is this thing? A magic wand? Um, wait, I can't even look this thing up. That's a legendary item. All right, so we got some other stuff. Uh, common items here. Uh, medicine bag, toilet. Uh, how much is this worth? Uh, 80 bucks. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's an NFL football. Wait a minute, is it signed? Uh, no, 58 bucks. Uh, recycle. We got, uh, looks like grandpa's pocket watch. Uh, okay. So I think a lot of this is going to ride on, uh, the magic wand in a fish. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Oh my goodness. I am probably screwed. So yeah, uh, there's some skills that we can go ahead and unlock. And if we go over, I believe it's over here. I can get like a quick sell. Uh, so here, let me go ahead and unlock these skills before it. Uh, which makes haggling a little bit easier. There we go. And then can I go down? Can I do the connections with the... No, I can't do this one yet. I have to do the other skill before it. And then our next one's going to make it where we can quick sell some items, which will be nice. Instead, I have to put everything online because honestly, some of this stuff's not worth it. So yeah, I'm really, really curious about this wand. I wish my scanner could actually like determine how much this thing is worth. All right, well, I'm going to take my big mouth bass and stuff here. Let's load this up. We got other auctions that are available. Uh, to be honest with you, there's not a lot lot in this unit so it's not like we're gonna fill the back of the truck so pretty confident we could uh, maybe win another one here let's go ahead and just load this stuff up uh man i'm hoping this magic wand is like the big ticket item like let this thing be worth several thousand dollars uh that would be absolutely amazing okay i got twenty four hundred dollars these look like they're actually gonna be good hon huh? let's go around the other side like i want to i want one that i actually have to pay decent money for Okay, we got one down here. Oh my goodness, the starting bid on that is really high. There must be something good in here. Oh, let's look inside the unit. I see two big speakers. There's something weird looking in front of that box, and it looks like there's a knife. Okay, this might be worth it here. So I got $2,400. Let's hope we can... I'm going to start high here. Let's hope we can get it for below that, and then this should fill up the vehicle for sure. Okay, this thing's getting expensive. Can I get it for $1,700? All right, we won the lot. Cool. Uh, let's hope this stuff was actually worth it. I just heard something explode. Was that my truck? Okay, hold on. Let's take the truck over here. Oh my goodness. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be worth the money that we've invested into it. Okay, so we have epic concert speakers. Okay, I like that. I think I can scan these. Hold on. Okay, 700 bucks. There you go right there. That's what we're looking for. All right, we have a fire extinguisher, common item. Uh, it's only worth 20 bucks. A washing machine. It's, ep it's broken, but we can fix that. Uh, we have a Egyptian dagger. 
350. Okay, we have, I'm not even going to try to say that. It's a Japanese mask, 75 bucks. And oh my goodness, there's more weapons in here. Wait, well, <laughs> whose uh, storage unit was this? Okay, so these are all kind of not really worth a lot. But still, uh, there's enough in here that I believe this was, wor oh, that was 650 on that, on that uh, knife there. Cool. Okay. Well, this wasn't so bad. Right, I'm going to load up all these small items inside of the box, and then we'll take the speakers out. Uh, I know. I mean, I kind of want to fix. I don't know if I can fit it in here. I, I want to fix that washer. And make sure I grab the important stuff. The speakers are big money. Uh, so I want to make sure I definitely have those. Oh, my goodness. Can we stack all this up here like this? Uh, maybe if I set it on its side. This is, like, one of the fun parts of the game is trying to, like, organize all the stuff in your truck. Oh, yeah. No, this is perfectly acceptable. All right. Set that up there. Nope. Nope. You need to set down. Uh, come on. There we go. Can we fit a washer on here? I, I feel like if I could do this, like, I could do anything. All right. Live your dreams. Here we go. The perfect absolutely <laughs> i don't know how that actually worked i'm actually kind of proud of myself all right let's head home i'm gonna sort through these items and we're gonna start to make some sales here and maybe this will be enough to get us to level 10 oh my goodness there's a garage sale right there okay you know just pass don't worry about it right now we can always go to those later uh, let's get down to the house okay see if we can fix this stupid washing machine okay 350 uh man it jumps in value quite a bit actually all right there it is i think i can go up to good so it's 560 which is good uh let's go ahead and repair this one up to good uh there's a couple things in here i know i can wait i just fixed the cardboard box i didn't mean to fix that uh it's fine Okay, the magic wand, uh, I'm going to take a wild guess here, and I'm going to go $1,500. We might have to lower that. Uh, I have one more broken item, but I've got some customers ready to go here. So let's say the Big Mouth Bass. I want 400 for it. Uh, let's see if they will take that. 400 Ah, uh, you want that? And now I'm back. Back on the plaque. Uh, they'll do 355. Would you do? Let's go 375. 375 is my new offer. Uh, <laughs> 370. Okay, 370 is good. Uh, so that's a pretty good start. Home. Let's see if we can find some of the more uh, rare items. All right. So I won it $900 for the speaker. It said 700 was a, the value of it. They're guessing 807. Would you do 825? I feel like that's fair. There we go. Okay, we did that one. Okay, I'm gonna sell off a couple of the low end price uh, or the low end items. All right. So the bayonet. I have 900 on it. I think it said it was worth like 650. Uh, would you do 800? They said 720. Uh, 756. I'll accept that. That sounds good. Okay, magic wand. I have an offer. It's a good deal. Is the deal? Wait, they? Whoa, they accepted that way too easy. Um, should I relist it? Should we try something more ridiculous? Let's try twenty five hundred. Uh, yeah, that lady was gonna pay fifteen hundred. All right, I need to put the rest of the stuff for sale. But if I can get twenty five hundred for it, my goodness, that is awesome. Okay, the Egyptian dagger, I put $700, says average value is 560. By the way, it looks a little gray because it's night outside. All right, so that one's good. Uh, oh, I need to fix that camera real quick. I didn't realize I was trying to sell a broken camera. Hold on, we got another offer for the wand. They'll do 16, all right, you know what? Let's try 1800 on this. Uh, I feel like that's, a, regardless, this is good. Okay, they'll do 1721, I'll accept that. Uh, that is awesome. Okay, I quickly sold everything else. As you can see, we ended up with over $7,000, which is good. So real quick on the tool front, let's go ahead and upgrade the scanner. I should be able to, all right, so that's max level now. So we should be able to scan everything. I'm going to save the money. I, I would do the, the max level repair tool, but I want to wait because I needed to have some money uh, for some of the storage auctions. But man, that was a good... A bit there. Okay, so now I can quick sell items. We're going to unlock that skill. There we go. Uh, we are one skill point away from actually getting, or one level away from actually unlock. Well, that was embarrassing. Unlocking the uh, last storage auction area. So yeah, I think we're going to go take advantage of some, whoa, here we go. Hold on. Oh, we got some stuff over here. Let's see if there's any rare items in this yard sale. There is a, oh, that's actually kind of cheap for the revolver. Hold on, let's go ahead and scan it. Uh, might as well use our upgraded scanner here. Uh, man, they want 350. The average value is 450. So you know we can get more for that. You know what? We're gonna buy this. Hey, uh, would you take? Uh, let's go 300. Would you take 300? My my grandfather needs this. I can buy it for 300. A bit cheap. They'll do 350. You know, I'll take 354. Uh, there is money there. I what? Did I get like four dollars off? Uh, 
I hope I didn't just get a bad deal. No, that's probably a good deal. Like, I'm just casually putting a, a freaking gun in the back of my car. Oh, here's the gold pistol. You know, somebody told me I needed to buy this. Hold on. I should be able to scan this since it's a legendary. Oh, what is it valued at? 3200 That price is great. That's like making $1,000 on it. Uh, hold on. Let's see if we can get it for a little, little bit off. Uh, would you do two grand on this? Uh, two grand sounds like a good price, right? All right, make it happen. There we go. Heck, we might not have to go to the storage auctions today. We're going to make a lot of money just by uh, going uh, yard sale hopping. There we go. We bought two guns. I don't know how that works when it comes to a yard sale and buying weapons. Uh, those have serial numbers normally on them. Let's just hope they weren't used for a murder. All right, do you have anything else? You got this kind of cute hippopotamus uh, that I kind of want. But other than that, uh, I think I'm good. Oh, that epic guy. Hold on. Might as well just scan it. I know my audience can be like, Komodo, why don't you scan this item? Hold on. Scan this one. Uh, it's a medieval pitcher. It's 560. Okay, so he's a little high on that. Even if I were to get it at a discount, I don't think there's enough money in there to justify it. But we bought two guns. Uh, so that's a thing. Might as well just head over here. See if we can get a hold of one more storage auction. Hold on. I'm going to hit this lady real quick. All right. What the heck? I just knocked her through a fence. Hold on. Let's do it again. There you go. I don't know what it is with me and running over pedestrians in these games. Okay, give me something high value. Looks like we have one started at 846. That's not too bad. Any over here that are ready to go? No, those are still red. All right, so I think we're going to do this one. Let's do this 846. Let's open it up. Let's see what's in here. There is a sword down here, a gold, ooh, a couple like gold vases. Uh, I feel pretty good about this one. Let's, let's go ahead and get this one real quick. Uh, let's just try low bids here. See how low uh, we can get this uh, potential auction for. <laughs> okay, we're up close to $1,300. Uh, it's getting a little high, but man, I really want to see what those gold vases are. Like, I feel like those could be worth a good bit of money. So we're just keep bidding low here. Also, Melon Husk over there has one of the most ridiculous looking haircuts. Like, what is, is that even a mullet? Like, what do you count that as? Uh, not sure. Look at that. We're almost level 10. So we're about to unlock the next uh, storage auction place uh, where we can hopefully find nothing but like legendary items. Uh, let's check this. Uh, we've done this uh, Egyptian bracelet. Uh, we've already scanned that. 650. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, 1500. There you go. Big ticket item right there. Uh, the rest of this looks like pretty common stuff, which I can, I think, outright sell this now uh, for the average value. I don't know why this one's moving. Okay. So, you know what's funny is the two things that I thought were worth a lot of money are combined worth eh, maybe about 120 bucks. Uh, no, this is fine. All right, so I might quick sell certain items here, uh, but this bracelet and that sword, man, those are money. You know, I was actually kind of doubting the sword. When I saw it at first in the uh, storage auction or when they opened the unit up, I thought it was like a rusty old sword, but I didn't realize that this is a fine piece of art there. Okay, scan the fishing rod. How much is this thing worth? 60 bucks. Oh, there we go. Uh, we just unlocked level 10 there. I did quick sell some items because like you're not gonna make a lot of money like we're kind of at that point where we're at big ticket items okay so i only have 487 dollars i need to go sell off all this stuff and then we are finally gonna go to the big boy auctions i need to make sure i have plenty of money for that uh because no telling what we're gonna find in those maybe we'll find more of these like golden guns and then we can go buy another vehicle or yeah I guess buy just a replacement vehicle I wonder if you get to keep both your vehicles. I'm actually curious. All right, I must say I'm really excited to put some of these uh, items up for sale. Let's see. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. Okay, so it's about as max that I can do. I mean, I think I can probably get one more skill for the uh, hammer and put everything in a perfect shape, which would be really, really nice. Uh, I know it says it unlocks at level 10. This did this last time, so we can go to Sanchez. Uh, storage a after this so here we go egyptian bracelet uh i want to put 800 on it it's average value 630 uh the fishing rod really not a big ticket item i'll put 80 bucks on it uh this golden uh it calls it a deagle hmm i guess it's supposed to be like a uh an eagle i think it's what the pistol was called uh, all right let's go with 4,000. i think 4,000 is fine uh the python let's go 800 on it and this freaking sword is awesome let's go two grand on it there we go oh look the same guy wants to buy three items okay for the bracelet he'll do 670 would you do meet me at 700 there 696 okay there you go uh fishing rod they'll just take it um let's see here is this oh he's gonna take that gun for four thousand no questions asked i wonder how much more i could have got for it you know what we'll just give it to him because i need to get over to those other auctions uh the guy with the pistol 
average value 450 says you'll take 644 how about we do 700 would you do 700 for me a uh, 683 i'll go ahead and just take it and then we have the sword they're guessing 1775 would you do uh let's go 1800 uh would you accept that offer there we go and boom we did it we got over seven thousand or close to eight thousand dollars there and we've been able to buy upgrades and we can go to the big boy storage auction which well let's go ahead and go now uh, a lot of the auctions start later in the day. Actually, where is this thing? Okay, it's... Oh my goodness, it's ginormous. All right, so the next intersection, we're going to take a right, and then we'll see what we might find in here. Jeez, Louise, this is a... What? There might be cars in these. What is this? Uh, oh, are they, none of these available today? Why does this look like a freaking, like sci-fi thing going on here? What is that even in the middle? Okay, well, maybe we'll have to wait a day, but... I did not picture it looking like that. There has got to be some really good stuff in those auctions. All right, here we go. We have access to these. How much do these cost? Uh, I'm kind of afraid. All right, that one starts at 1800. That's 1000. So this is our first. Oh wait, it's a three star. What's a five star like? All right, open up the doors, please. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, something just fell. <laughs> There's a gold uh, deagle back there too. We know that's worth quite a bit of money so all right i'm willing to pay let's go five thousand on this i think five thousand should be my max uh i feel like we can get it done here uh let's go up 200 bucks also scarlet storage sun over there okay we're up to 3400 come on let me have it at 3400 3400 oh my goodness i think the gun itself is gonna pay for the whole like auction oops oh don't leave it okay there we go all right, so we have some common items here. Probably just get rid of those. It's a doghouse. It's broken. You know, I should have fixed the broken item in the last storage facility. I forget. I have literally a tool on me that does this. Let's see. Viking axe. Hold on, let's check it. 150. Uh, the statue of an old man. How much is this worth? Uh, ooh, that's a little lower. Hold on. Winged helmet. Come on. 550. Okay. Uh, plastic. Wait, why is there a plastic sledgehammer in here? That seems a little odd. Uh, let's see, jewelry box. Uh, we got some musical thing that uh, is it a leer? Leery? Lyry? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, let's see, typewriter. Okay, well, we got the deagle. We know that's 4,000, so that pays for the whole thing. Hold on, we got a shield here. 600 bucks. Okay, I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, there's a couple things where I wish it was a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure everything is as good of shape as the, it can be uh now i can repair this one a little bit i'm gonna sell off like the common items and then we'll take the big items back uh to the house here man i'm so happy with the deals that we've made so far like we are doing good wait is there a oh it's a house for sale uh you know i guess eventually we'll need to actually buy a real house and not just live out of a garage oh and there is a yard sale let's go ahead and check this out before we get home on is there anything good oh they got another one of these that is like it's almost like borderline like uh an exploit like come on this thing is worth four thousand dollars this one's in perfect shape uh we're gonna pretty much double our money if i say hey i'll give this two thousand dollars would you do it boom he agrees to that and we could sell this thing for four thousand plus dollars like come on uh these people don't realize what they have in their yards which i mean that's kind of a real thing in yard sales and then there's people that are like way too optimistic about their prices uh they think that their stuff is worth gold but what we have back here is literally gold like there is a lot of profit and we are about to probably break ten thousand if not more uh, i'm gonna say after this a uh, little bit of sale we have here I'm gonna say we're gonna be set at, a, I'm gonna say 12,000. I think that's a, a correct price. And then we can go ahead and we'll be able to upgrade our tools to max too. Uh, that way we can repair everything to perfect. Okay, everything's on sale. All right, so here's the Deagle. Uh, they'll do four, three, sixty. Would you do 4,500? Uh, do that, there we go, got a deal there. That's good, let's go in, is the other one? Okay, we got another one here. Uh, they'll take four, three, I mean, it's pretty much getting close to the same thing here uh so i think we've kind of reached the max 4500 there we go that is a ton of money my goodness all right we're gonna be well over 12,000. i think i guessed a little low all right she'll take the shield i got a plastic uh hammer i, I don't really know what anybody would do with the plastic hammer uh artwork to to what is it 200 dollars? they said they'll do that okay let's do that 
Okay, we have the winged helmet here. They said 585. Average value is 550. Would you do 600 on this? Uh, that's fair there. And then we have the type rifle, uh, type rifle, type rider. My goodness. Uh, all right. So we got that. We're at almost $18,000. Uh, let's upgrade this. We are at max level on all of our tools and we have unspent skill points. So I want a level five auction. Maybe I have to unlock that. That could be a skill. Uh, you never know. Yeah. I'm just looking uh, somebody's make the storage is a little more profitable. So, oh, I can access the uh, viewer uh, or actually the computer via iPad. Hold on. I really need that. That way I don't even have to sit there. Well, I maybe I don't even have to go home now to sell stuff. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. All right. Let me go ahead and unlock the next little bit of the skill tree. We're almost to the end there, which is nice. Yeah, we've almost max leveled everything. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and stop by the car dealership real quick just to check. Uh, you never know. We might be able to actually afford one of these vehicles. Uh, can I sell my current vehicle i'm assuming the game makes you have one vehicle uh so you got this truck this is ten thousand, and then you have the sprinter oh it's only fifteen thousand. i am not short much oh my goodness uh can i wait can i sell this vehicle let me see if i can sell the truck uh can i talk to you no this guy just won't even talk to me really i don't need a lot of money on oh, there's a couple garage sales if we can find one more gold gun uh we can buy the sprinter van and I really want that Sprinter van. I'm curious how it works. If like, maybe we can use the side of it. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Yep, <laughs> this might need to be patched. Okay, we found another golden gun. Would you do 2,500 for this one? Uh, yep, they did 2,500. Actually, I think I overpaid for that. I probably could have done 2,000, couldn't I have? Uh, it doesn't matter, this is what I need it. Hold on, can I sell this from here is the question. So yeah, it's uh, status is bad. Oh, I could have gotten that for way cheaper. I didn't even pay attention to that. I'm stupid, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we can make it into perfect shape here so it gets the 4,000. Boom, there you go. Nice. Uh, I could quick sell it or hold on. Can I do this from the tablet now or do I have to have the stuff in the... No, it's got to be in the garage. I mean, I could quick sell this real quick. Can I do that? No, I think I have to actually go sell this one. Dang it. All right, well, this should be... Oh, I just backed into, like, is that a BRZ? Or it might be an 86. I don't know. They, they both look fairly similar. Okay, I got a customer. Uh, would you do 5,000 on this thing? Uh, 5,000. Uh, they'll do... They'll meet me in the middle. That's 4,800. There we go. So we now have enough for the Sprinter. The only thing I'm worried about with the Sprinter is you can't really stack because it's not an open uh, area in the back. But I'm hoping there's enough area. Like, it's definitely a bigger vehicle. So I, I feel like we're still going to be fine. Plus, I want to drive something new around. Uh, so here we go. Yes, I want this thing. We're going to have to go back to some smaller storage auctions. Oh, I can bargain on this? Wait, you got to be kidding me. Uh, would you do uh, 1300 or, or 13000 on this? Huh? Uh, oh, and he's thinking about it. I could do... Okay, hold on. Let's try... Can I get a thousand bucks off this? Boom. How about this offer? 14, two, three. You know what? I'll accept it. There you go. All right. We have just bought the van. Uh, oh, I still have this vehicle. Wait, can I sell? Like, I kind of wish you could sell your old vehicles. Huh? Let's just place this one over here. Uh, let's look at the Sprinter. Please tell me we can open up the rear of this. Like, that's the only... Oh, the sliding door doesn't work. Okay. Well, these work. That's... Honestly, it's a good bit of room. Plus, this thing is tall. So... I like it. We have bought a, a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes, right? Yeah, that's definitely the Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, that is cool, though. Uh, so, yeah, but I guess next time we need to look forward to maybe trying to buy, like, an actual house instead of living in a garage. But, I mean, we could live in the van, have some sweet van life going on here. But I like this new vehicle, and we'll see you guys next time.